This is my uh, coil rolling machine that I throw together. <laughs> I have to use a flashlight here so you can see the zeros on the front of that. That's not very good. But hey, I got one of those. This is one of them Chinese uh, coil rollers that. Uh, let's see, it can count up to 99,999 turns. And uh, I have that mounted on this 2x2 two two board. And then I got this magnifying glass. Oh, let me get that where you can see that. There's a magnifying glass on a flex tubing mounted here uh, well I can't get the light on it <clears throat> uh, anyway it has a I got a flashlight small flashlight mounted on that magnifying glass so it can see the uh, the coil form that's right here it's got this rod that comes out this side about that long got a coil form on there then I got, uh, yeah, I can get the light right. I got this pulley system going there, there. And I got one of those measuring wheels uh, mounted on this PVC pipe coming out, so I can uh, also see the distance on the screen down here at the same time as I can see the turns and well, let me set that down let's see if I turn that on should be able to see yeah see and it'll tell you you can read it in feet or meters or whatever and uh, it reads you know down to the hundredth of an inch and uh, so I got that on there and then uh, let's see behind that wheel then I got another pulley there and that wire goes up let's see where's that wire at oh, hard to find that wire goes up anyways and I got the spool back here and this lighting is bad uh, on this cross axle back here which is big enough where I can put the full size spools on it too anyway it goes up to that top pulley and back down to that spool which is that's the green uh, number 24 gauge wire on there right now let's see right there and that's the uh, truck on this side. <laughs> a lot of light over there, but it's only on this side. And I have to pull you up at the top. And then I got this big wooden wheel here. And then underneath, I got a little tensioner so I can, you know, keep try to keep it from backlashing with this little tensioner wheel that rides on it down here. I can adjust it from the bottom from this little boat head sticking out of the bottom down there anyway I got that whole thing I got it made so that oh you can see this side man I can't even see this side hold on well didn't get enough light on it yeah the sides are like that. It goes down here and to the board at the bottom. Anyway, it's just like right, right in there. I got where I can just take one screw out, and so I can just slide that whole side off. Uh, 
to make it easy to put the coils on and off of it. I just want to get a side shot of it. But, you know, it's going to get very good. We got the rolling machine here. I'm not sure can get the light on it though. You know you got that measuring wheel and you that and going up with that pulley and then back down. Anyway, you know, I was hoping that would film better than that. It won't even film at all. Uh, I thought maybe it would, but it doesn't really. I don't want to get rid of this flashlight. Uh, let's see if there's any way I can see it, but I can't really see it. You got your rolling machine, that, that your spool is, and it comes down to the pulley there, pulley there, and the wire passes just with enough tension right under that rope, that measuring wheel, and then back up that pulley. Anyway, that's how it's made. <laughs> that's all I can get on it. <coughs> anyway. I guess I'm gonna try to uh, roll like this spool here, this coal form, and uh, see if I can make one of them uh, permanent split capacitance motors that, like that. I've seen where they turn like a half of a can suspended on a nail or something. We'll see if I can do that just for something to to do with this machine. Uh, anyway, the I'm gonna get that light back on. See if I can see that that the label that's on that. I may not be able to pick it up. Probably could if I could hold it steady. And the light was right. Uh, it has a label like that. I got it on eBay. I think for something like forty dollars. It's hard to remember. It might be forty-four dollars. And uh, oh, and it also has this pulley right here on that end where you could put a motor on it, but. I found though that I already worked with it a little bit before and it's not really that easy because you can't really go fast or the coil will try to coil on itself too easy. I would really just end up using it by putting my fingers here and just turning that pulley slow. It's the only way to really accurately, <laughs> somewhat accurately, roll any coils. But I rolled one and it uh, did pretty good so I'm going to try to copy that one roll the second one I'll see what happens on that oh I didn't turn on let's see that little flashlight let's see it, it, that's looking through the magnifying glass so you got this little light and uh, uh, you can turn that little light on and look at where you're rolling so that's somewhat convenient. <laughs> anyway, that's it for that, I guess.